Hi everyone. I have some more ATC cards I wanted to share with you and uh, I had so much fun making these. They were uh, a little challenging at first but uh, I kind of got into it and in lots of cases I got carried away. <laughs> okay uh, on these three what I did is I went ahead and uh, covered them with gesso and then I started applying pieces of fabric some of these drywall stuff here like this and a little bit of the square stuff right here and uh, some burlap and um, then I covered it with gesso again and then started spraying some of them I wasn't sure where I was going to go for the most part but uh, I just started working on them by, by adding bits and pieces now on this one right here you can see I have all that background and I use different colors of sprays and I couldn't tell you for the life of me which ones it was just uh, just whatever I had it close at hand uh, I did add some perfect pearls and then water and this is some fabric here I did some um, modeling paste here with some leaves and all the little flowers I punched out with uh, vellum paper and then uh, just put some little centers in there and this large one here is from vellum and then I also made the little butterfly and I embossed it by hand and then put some stickles on it and then a little ribbon here or banner and I wrote uh, summer delight and I have a little bling here and on the back I I did name this summer delight okay on this one here same thing you can see the background with all the different textures added some burlap pieces and some trim upholstery tack this little piece of cutout and the little hanging sign says creativity is intelligence having fun and that's by Albert Einstein that was his quote and here's a little bead here I'm sorry see that and uh, this one here I hesitated to show it <laughs> because it was kind of a conglomerate I have a lot of seashells and I just started adding seashells to this uh, as you can see I painted the seashells different colors I have some coral here and some of that uh, dry fern and uh, I edged it all around with some modeling paste here and um, I have a arrow made out of beads and it says create and see those little banners create art and enjoy you see that so <laughs> that was that was fun to make <laughs> but it is a conglomerate and I think I named this one aquatic fun <laughs> okay so now I got some more here uh, this is one I made using some uh, wedding dress appliques and I have some clay pieces here I was watching Jane doing some clay pieces boy that got me going I love it and I had some mold so I got this little flower here that I made and some little leaves and then a little butterfly here and uh, I just added some stamens for the antennas and a sweet little picture there and I have some tool and some fabric here and I named this one sweet and sparkly and because I did add some sparkles or sparkly glue around the edge here okay so um, this one is kind of a shabby chic style and I have the cage here and I use some of that uh, stucco mix that I use a lot and I applied it to this bird cage so you can see it's got a lot of texture and I added some glitter to it just to give it some sparkle uh, the first thing I did though was apply the, some of that napkin that I have uh, I mod podged it on I did some texture pasting on uh, some wings on the background here this little bird that uh, in the cage I did put some glitter on that Let's 
if you can see the little bird and I painted it these are some leaves that I punched out and I hand embossed and these are some little flowers here that I got from I think Easy Craft a long time ago this is a little clay piece that I made from one of my clay molds and I painted it with some uh, luminaire paint and you can't see it but I have some chain here dangling when it hangs up it just dangles off some of the jump rings if you can see that and then I have a little chain here and uh, I named this one birds in the spring okay um, this one here is pretty simple kind of plain and it's one of those wooden anchors you get at uh, Michaels I stamped it with one of my stamps is friendship and I did the same thing to the background and then I went over it with some blue paint I did stamp a few other stamps on the background and I embossed the edges and then I embossed the anchor and I just left it kind of like that because I like being able to read the stamped area it's about friendship and uh, I named it friends are anchors and I mean that in a nice way like a uh, friend friends not gonna let you drift off into something that may not be good for you so uh, I kind of like that thought but it's it's a simple one and I kind of like that okay this one is the hinge from the Tim Holtz uh, punch the hinge and I have some paper and I it's just some paper from a stack that I have it doesn't really have a name but it's a like an old map and um, and I did distress it all around the edge a lot and then I printed out the words and the word says um, a smile is the hinge to all mankind and I distressed it real good and then went over it with some Mod Podge and of course these hinges are done with the uh, stucco Mod Podge mixture I have some brads in that you can see that and uh, I kinda like the the thought on that um, I got it trimmed out with some uh, just regular trim from Hobby Lobby and I did title this smile and hinge and uh, the last one I did here <laughs> is this one uh, this is uh, the combination of a lot of things I first prepared the background with some metal tape Let's see if you can see that and I embossed it and then I have gears and I uh, embossed that as well and you see there's a, it's got some depth you see some more gears underneath and uh, let's see to start out with I've got a fuse up here and some metal flowers around that and then I ran some copper wire from there all the way around here to this little light bulb and uh, these little wooden beads I, uh, I cut them in half and just painted them and then rubbed some uh, copper ink of gold on it this little spring thing right that you see right here is this right here this is uh, something that my husband uses when he goes fishing I think it's called a, an extender or something and um, so I've got I, cut it and I've got it wrapped over here holding this piece this bead down and then the, the long part just coming straight down here and uh, I have some more gears I have some gears that are cut out and some metal gears here I have a, a J here in the middle and uh, some more gears up here with coiled wire some more gears and sprocket here and uh, I made these little these look like little transistors I guess you might say 
and then I punch these little butterflies out on that metal tape and I emboss them. There's one butterfly and uh, here's the other butterfly and this is causing a glare. <laughs> I'm sorry. And uh, of course here's a little light bulb and I made the little band that's holding it down. See that? Um, there's a gear here, a C clamp, and I have a little trinket here with an eye there for the C clamp. And there's a wrench going into this little transistor, and some more coil going to the light bulb. So I always wanted to do something like this. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It wasn't exactly what I had planned to do, and as I got into it, uh, things had changed. My thoughts had changed, and so um, this was the end result. And I have a little Buddha charm here at the bottom. So uh, this is my little steampunk ATC. This was fun. This was really a lot of fun. And I call it the circuit to light because it comes from, it's the circuit comes from the fuse all the way down here to the light bulb. So I call it the circuit to light. And uh, of course y'all have seen the other tags from the other video. This right here. And uh, so these are my tags. I'm sorry. ATCs. And uh, I had a lot of fun making these. So, um, my next question is, I don't know which ones to send Jane. <laughs> and uh, when I mentioned it to her, that maybe she could tell me which ones she said I had to choose. So, um, here's what I'm thinking. That she's got this really cool board that she's posting all her ATCs on. And, uh, Probably the ones that have the in the portrait position would work better on that board rather than something like these that are in the landscape position. So uh, what do y'all think? And uh, if you guys have an idea of what you think Jane might Jane and I'm talking about Jane at Velocity Vet 08 because she's the one I'm doing the swap with, and we're doing five ATCs. So if you get a good idea of what you think she might like, uh, just leave me a comment below. Let me know. So I hope y'all like these. They were so much fun to make. And I really appreciate Jane asking me to do this swap. And uh, I just had a blast making them. It was a good learning experience too. Um, and uh, anyway, I hope y'all like it. And have a great day and thanks for watching.